Hello, my friends. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. So glad that you're here. And we'll get started into our radical human design transformational open house, kicking off a new series of private sessions. So we're limiting this to a very small amount of individuals who would like to dive deeper into their human design chart. So this is not for newcomers today. We're looking at, we're right here at the Radical Transformation Adventures Open House, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek or a preview into the course itself. So here we are in the Radical Transformation Adventures course, and I'm going to be talking about the prerequisites and also make you aware of some of these uh, informational pieces here that I have for you. Now, we do have a couple of people signed up, so hopefully if we get a couple more, we will be able to continue on in this journey uh, over 10 sessions over 20 weeks. So it's alternating weeks and it's going to be this exact same time that we're just starting out today with on Tuesdays. Okay. So if that time and day works good for you, would love to have you join us for the deeper look at your human design body graph. So instead of taking you here quite yet, I'm going to take you over to what an advanced chart looks like. So again, for those of you who are new to human design, this is not the place for you. We want you to have had either a human design full analysis or an overview, human design overview, and taking the living your design awakening experience. So that is the prerequisite to what I'm about to show you with regards to how deep we can go into your human design body graph. Okay, so this is a PDF from the Maya Mechanics Imaging Software, which is the human design software from Jovian Archive. And you can see that it's got a lot of information on it. If you're used to my body graph, my body graph doesn't show uh, human design charts in this way, then this might be a little bit of a surprise. Like, what do all these numbers mean? And what, do, what is all that? Uh, why is it different, you know, than our normal body graph? So that's one of the things that I'm going to just uh, walk you through the PDF so that you know what is there in the PDF that you're going to get as a part of this course. Okay. So in this PDF, you'll see this advanced Maya mechanics imaging software, where we still have the conscious personality broken out, the unconscious per um, design on the left side, as usual. But now you're seeing these squares right here. These are called magic squares. Yes, they are magic. They are so freaking amazing and <laughs> just interesting. And you'll notice what, what is the commonality here? Well, the moons are both in white and then everything else is in blue. And then why is this red? Why is this pink up here? Well, I think it's just an artist rendition, but it does show some really distinct, important things that you want to know when we're diving deeper into your human design body graph. So again, your type, strategy, and authority goes without saying. What I'm going to tell you as we move through these 10 sessions together are deeper layers of both your, your unconscious body design construct from the primary health system or even personal health system aspect. And then when we get to the personality, we're going to be talking about rave psychology. Okay. Rave psychology. And we can analyze all of these different fabulous activations in so many different ways. So one of the key components of this experiment that I'm inviting you into, if it's correct for you to continue on, is to take note of where you're at now with regards to particularly your body and its life, its experience. So there's going to be a questionnaire that I would like you to uh, look into. Okay. So if, when you sign up for the program down here, there says questionnaire health history tracking, it is completely optional. My hope at some point is to gather enough data to where we have a database that we can pull from with regards to verifying some of the information that is taught. So this person with this planet and this gate, with this configuration tends to manifest whatever it is, 
whatever challenge, health challenge it is. So in this program, as we move through your body graphs, your charts, we are not going to be discussing your children, your partner, your dog, anybody else but you. Okay, so only your chart, please. This, you can see it looks complex, doesn't it? It's complex. It's not super complicated, but it is complex. And it's very, very specific to you. So as we go through the deeper layers of your human design advanced charts, I cannot speak to anybody else other than your specific design. So please do, um, if you would choose to join, continue on, please do uh, mindful, be mindful of other people in the class, because if we were to start talking about everybody else's kids, it would quickly get out of hand and I wouldn't be able to give the precise advice. I really like preciseness and specifics of somebody's design. I do not like giving generalities. These are highly, highly specific charts that we're going to be working with. Okay. So you'll notice when you look at the top of this present or your PDF, that there are some words here. These are the things that we're going to talk story about, educate you about with regards to how you're here to be nourished correctly, to have unique cognition, to be in the right environment, to be motivated to action, to have your sensory capacities online, to notice where you get distracted or transferred away from what is true and unique to you. So for this reason, we need very specific birth time. If you do not have very specific birth time, there's no way I can take you on in this program. Okay, so you have to do your research, go in to find your birth certificate. If it doesn't resonate, then work with somebody like myself. I actually don't take this on personally, unless you're with my, you're already signed up for a class. Okay, if you're, if you're with my group, my tribe, and you're in my classes, your private session, this course includes a private session. Your private session will help us fine tune what you're going to be experimenting with if you're right on the border of something. Okay. And I'll show you a little bit more about what we're going to be taking a look at down the road here. So if you keep scrolling down, this shouldn't be new to you. You know, you have a personality and a design, but it's just the PDF is splitting that apart for you so that you can take a look at it. You'll notice that your incarnation crosses here. We are going to take a brief look at some things in our course and talk uniquely and specifically about you your personality construct, how you're here to fulfill your life's work with regards to your incarnative purpose. So that's going to be something that you're going to learn about if you do not know about it yet. Your rave mandala, you can see all the beautiful planetary symbols, aspects there. It's also going to be illustrated here. And in this advanced PDF, you're going to also see the dream rave. The dream rave is a different design. 88 degrees of the moon's movement before your birth. And you're going to notice that there's, uh, you know, completely different from what you are when you're awake. So in this particular course, one of the things I'm adding on that isn't part of the normal regular course is that we're just going to take a look and see what is your type change and what are your weak points if you have any. So taking a look at what are the nighttime activations that turn on at night that you need to be aware about during the day? Just a, a little extra level of awareness about conditioning factors, okay? Now, when we take a look at your rave eaching overview, if you don't have this yet, it's really important that you, you get this if you're going to be studying your own design, okay? The actual line activations that are there. So if you're new to human design, as far as you've only done living your design, you don't have any books yet, this will help you find out what your line values are, the this and the that. If your human design analyst didn't give that to you yet. So if you haven't had a foundation reading or your foundation reading didn't give you this information, this PDF is going to help you have those things, those informational aspects of the this and that of how you show up. Now, at this point, people go, what the heck? What does this all mean? Uh, it's just a place, positional. You know, it shows you how soon into one place versus another place you are. So here's an example where if you are very close to this edge or very close to this edge, you want to make sure that you're working with a time 
that is accurate and experimenting with whatever edge it is, if it's this side versus this side, in our private session, I will let you know whether or not you want to keep an eye out for the edge. Okay. The edge is really important. It's one of the reasons why I want to have a private session with you towards the beginning of our time together. If you're diving deeper now, all the rest of this is your activations, your unique activations. And some of them you might notice, oh, how come there's only a this and not a that the exaltation is here because this Mars, my Mars is right next to my Mercury. So my Mars is influencing my Mercury. Watch is why this is pulled into the fixing, fixing. That might be a little much, but just explaining as we go through why you might see this or that. Okay. So all of this, this and that, so much information, it might feel a little overwhelming, but as we go through your um, coaching with me, these are places that I want you to keep uh, attuned to and or an awareness of so that you recognize things as we move through deeper layers of your human design chart. Okay. Now, um, because I am a BG5 certified teacher, a foundational teacher, and also a consultant, I do have the software that I will include. And if you haven't seen this yet before, you're going to notice that it's simply explaining further some things about your unique human design from the context of business and career. So you'll see that there's the same words in most cases, but also, you know, describing them rather than labeling them. Example, we look at your human design body graph and we see you've got an undefined heart. Oh, what does that mean? Well, in the BG5 world, we talk about your shadows and distractions, overcompensating, overcommitting. That's what the undefined heart. Okay. So those are things, keynotes that we can talk about if you're interested in. We'll talk about it privately or in our coaching group. So you can see the BG5 taking away the symbols of astrology and just putting uh, a letter uh, standing there as a symbol for what those things are. So coming back up to the surface of, or the beginning of what we're talking about with regards to this experience together, you should have already watched the introduction to um, this course. Please raise your hand if you're serious about going through this course. If you have not watched that video, either raise your hand or type into the chat, send me a Q&A if you're really seriously interested about moving forward. Because I, I do have two people signed up right now. Let me exit this full screen over here. And I need to make sure that if you're committed to moving forward with them, that I get you up to speed and show you where that is. Okay. So if you have any questions, please type into the Q&A box if you're wanting to keep it private. And that Q&A box should be working for you. So just type it in there. And I know that there's a bit of a delay. So I'll wait a little bit further. And while I'm doing that, so that's the PDF that you're going to get. One of your handouts, one of your several handouts. I'll go over another handout here in just a minute. While I wait for questions, here's my open house. Just double checking. It looks like nobody has uh, responded yet. So I'll continue on in our journey of what you're going to be looking at with regards to the deeper layers of your human design analysis or it's kind of like we take through, go through your charts on a regular basis. It's like personal mentoring in how you're here to be you. So just analyzing, speaking, discussing, conversing, communing about our experiences together. And this course is limited to five people, okay? Five people for this particular hour, this course that we're moving forward with. So in these clinics, I'm going to encourage you to apply your human design experience, experiment radically. What does that mean? It means always, of course, deferring to your authoritative process. Your authoritative process is your truth. 
If you are at all concerned, confused, not sure, this is the time and space to bring it up. And I'm going to give you deeper layers, different keynotes to apply to your cognitive awareness, your recognition of what you're here to pay attention to rather than that yammering mind, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. So I see that there's an anonymous person that wants to join. So that's wonderful to hear. Um, so I will go over the information towards the end and give you that recap. So for the two of you that are here, you, Liu and Jean, please do let me know if you have questions. Okay. And for the, for the most important thing, when you sign up, uh, I don't have, I don't think I have it from either of you yet. When you come in here, there's going to be some information about entering this experiment, a little bit about the prerequisites, some videos, and there's that health history I recommended earlier. And then there is a link to schedule your one-on-one -on -one session. I really want you to make sure that you schedule your one-on-one -on -one session with me sooner rather than later, because this particular adventure is going to be quicker than the last couple I've done. In that, the last couple, they were doing, you know, once per week for the first two. We did every other week for the second two, and now we're doing every other week. So I would prefer that you come in one on one with me as soon as possible, especially if you haven't checked whether or not you're on the border, the edge, or if your birth time isn't correct. Because if your birth time isn't correct, this stuff is so precise. I, I really don't want to set you off course or off track. And the reason why you would want to take this adventure with somebody who knows their way around the advanced body graph, you know, I've had the several three years of education, including um, this year, getting my, what is it called? Variable teacher, there we go, variable teacher training, and holistic analysis training. You want to take this course with somebody who is experienced or educated at least, at the very least in this, because there are so many different activations to work with. And sometimes you'll see, if you're trying to study it alone, conflicting information that is actually not correct out there, because there's a lot of people who have taken Raw's work, appropriated it for themselves, added things onto it, and are making up stuff that isn't necessarily in alignment with what it truly is all about. And when you see conflicting elements, things that are not in alignment with what's going on with you, what you tend to do, especially if you've paid somebody money, you tend to, okay, well, they know better than me. I'll do what they said, rather than coming back home to your own authority. So what does it mean to come back home to your own authority? I don't have to explain that to you if you're an advanced student. But I can give you deeper, more subtle nuances to feel into or to experiment with, you know, to recognize that might help you further in alignment with your truth. Okay, so that's why uh, we have some time with this. Ra, the way that he taught this, slam bam, thank you, not bam, thank you, ma'am. Saturday, Sunday, boom, and you're done. I don't prefer that. I want to spend time with my students. <laughs> it is part of my current transit, the teacher or the parent that cannot let go of the child uh, through my Uranus opposition that I just want to make sure that you don't make the same mistake that I did, which is take my analyst's word, wrote, and rigidly stick with it to the detriment of my physical body. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you haven't heard, I'm cold thirst. In my very first analysis in January, February, beginning of February, 2013, professional analyst, all she told me about my, des my design was drinking buckets of ice water, and I lived in a cold environment. So that's what I did. <laughs> I was so deeply disempowered and always put other people's opinions before my own. You take a look at this chart. Where's this chart? My chart. Oh, yeah, down here. Yeah, completely open Ajna. That I would just do what I was told to be a good girl, and I really wanted my brain to work correctly. So 
I rigidly stuck with drinking buckets of ice water and everything cold without being given the nuances and the keys and the clues to pay attention to. So that's why I'm doing this um, at a deeper level, more time. I'm an emotional wide split projector. I want to hang out with you guys and learn about your experiences. Okay. So that's part of the work that we're going to be doing with regards to applying it radically. You need to have been doing this for a while now, at least six months, a year, a very, very minimum. I would prefer a year minimum. Okay. Where you're doing strategy and authority in your daily routine. Now, if you're a projector, obviously, you know, that doesn't work so well. <laughs> the strategy is for the big things in life, but you can experiment still. Yeah. Experience in the benefits of using your strategy and authority as a decision-making tool. So important. Ideally, you do sleep alone. Now I'll tell you, one of my teachers won't name names, but one of my teachers said, no, that's not a big deal. I find personally, I need to sleep alone. Absolutely, utterly so important. My husband and I are both projectors. He becomes a generator at night. I cannot sleep worth a wink next to that guy. I used to think when I first met him that it was the attractor field, but now I know better. <laughs> Just very uncomfortable. Can't sleep next to him. So we have to unlearn what you may have learned. And if you haven't been my student, my personal student, it may be that you came from somebody else. It, you might need to unlearn even some of those things and relearn according to the more precise analysis that we can do now that we have the deeper layers unlocked, the keys to your consciousness and your health. This is about your body, your life. I am not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I don't have certifications that pre-qualify me to tell you what to do, period. All I can do is guide you with what I see and tell you why and ask, ask you to experiment. So that's the first and most important thing. Okay. So the purpose of the overview is to give you a little sneak peek in the transformations. I'm really giving you general information. I am not teaching you how to do this, period. I'm going to give you specific information. Now, these are my slides from IHDS. They say it's a teaser for the real process. Because I'm doing this in a longer period of time with you, we're going to be doing some of this real process work in group. Ra did not want the deeper layers of the human design system to be done in readings, period. This is process work. This is why I'm doing it with you in very, very small groups. I'm a small group projector. Three to five people is my happy place. I've learned that now. Three to five people, if we're working with charts, is all I can manage in that one hour. Okay, so that is the max for my radical transformations moving forward. So what are the four steps? Well, we're working with the deeper layers of the human design system. If you're not familiar, base, tone, color. So in our designs, we always have these bases, tones, and colors that we're going to be working with. And again, for your specific design, because it's so unique, such a brilliant and beautiful opportunity an opportunity nowhere else on this planet can you look into your own design and really see the construct that is there to help you recognize the correct alignment for your body and your being. Not that you're going to immediately be able to live forever. <laughs> That's not something that we can do, unfortunately. Unfortunately. We could at some point in the future if we had a channel connect between that heart center and that sacral center, we could be immortal. But this mortal body, this mortal human form has a happy place too with regards to how it likes to be nurtured by life, both inside and out. And that's the thing that I really want to hone in for each of you. I really find it important, especially if you are going to be any kind of human design professional, that you look into this deeper layer of the human design system. And for that reason, Ra also recommended that that would be the case, 
For that reason, in the professional analyst training level one year, you will get lectures no matter where you go, IHDS or to my particular independent school. You'll get lectures on this information. But if you've been through the lectures at the professional level one uh, space, so you've been through my uh, level one this past year with myself or anyone else at IHDS, then this is going to take you even a little bit deeper to actually put these things into context, into context within your design so that we can enhance your body's intelligence. All of us are brilliant, but we're brilliant at different things. That first transformation is the catalyst. It helps us to enhance our brain system, our brain system, the physical brain. We're gonna be talking about your left and your right brain. How do we understand or comprehend the way in which our left brain and our right brain are so vastly different to celebrate our uniquenesses and not to try and be something other than what we already are? In the second transformation, which is the cornerstone of these four transformations, we're going to be talking about your primary health system from the perspective of you in your correct environment. This is about your physical longevity. It is not about picking up, packing up, and moving to Hawaii. Nope. This is about you attuning to the frequencies within the environment that are correct for you to help you recognize your specificity as far as your comfort level within the environment. And what does that do? When you are comfortable within the environment, when there is less friction in the environment, bingo, we have longevity, less resistance, less stress. We know stress is one of the creators of so many different health issues. Less stress, the longevity that is correct for you, not that you're going to live forever, but the love, but longevity that is your birthright that you were designed for. So again, that is the primary health system, the body, the body is the life. When we move over to rave psychology, we're going to be talking about your seeing. And this is really the fun stuff. I mean, I love them both, but seeing, 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 seeing in alignment or not. Not that it's bad to see what you're not supposed to see. Just don't try to see what you're not supposed to see. That's the whole point. Okay. So your body, when it is not aligned correctly, meaning you're not feeding it correctly, you're not attuned to its needs, you're ignoring its requirements, you are forcing it to be in a place that isn't conducive to its longevity. What happens? It's harder and harder to follow your decision-making strategy, your strategy and authority. And when you're not operating in alignment with your body, this gets all messed up. I cannot tell you how badly misaligned I was before human design took root within my being. So, so uncomfortable. If life feels painful, distorted, uncomfortable, Follow your strategy and authority for at least a year and then come here. Come here and check out the deeper layers of what you're designed to experiment with. Now, I've got a couple, the two that are signed up, they're both highly educated. One's an analyst training, one's very highly self educated, besides already being um, one of my past students in rave psychology and living your design guide. So, this really is important to get a more finer tune or a honing in on the specificities that are unique to you that you are designed to pay attention to. And when you pay attention to these things, these seeings, who's watching? That's the question I want you guys to, I want to invite you guys to attune to. Who's watching? Because that is going to help you be aware of what is right for you. Now, okay, just checking the chat there. Hi, Elu. Okay. In our third transformation, the construct of your rave psychology, psychology's perception 
or your mind seeing. We're going to pay attention to not only the specificities of your viewpoint, your perceptual reality, but we're also going to talk about the stage upon which your life is set, how you carry this stage wherever you go. When we talk about that stage, I'm talking about the nodal environment, the perspective that you're walking along in this road, on this path, in this journey. And also that is, again, dependent on the environment of where you be. So we're going to talk about the deeper layers here. The nodal activations are perceptual and describe what you're going through, the road that you're walking, the path that you are on, the people that you're designed to resonate to. Indeed, sometimes it's the people that you fulfill your life's work with, these people that are so precious and valuable. You have an incarnative purpose to connect with, to commune with. I remember when I first became an analyst student wondering, why the heck did I keep getting these incarnation crosses, the same ones over and over and over again? There it is, bingo. They're literally people that you were designed to be in their life. Walk that path, see the way that they be what they be. So just to understand more deeply, not just the this and that. For example, I'm personal. I see things very personally. You hear me talk about my personal experience. I teach. I cannot help but teach from the personal path, the personal experience. And before human design, my mind was all out there trying to get winning, losing, who's got power, who's got what I think I want, what I have to have in order to be successful, blah, 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 blah. This is a huge transformation in the construct of what fabric fabricates your personality with regards to how it thinks. So when you get here, that's why I'm not rushing the first part, the first step. When you get here and you really start to see that counterpoint, we're talking about your mind. We're not talking about who you are. Not really. This is just your mind vacillating back and forth. Me going from personal to power, back and forth. It used to be so sad. <laughs> now it's much better, much better. Because I don't get distracted anymore. Not in the same way. I might get distracted. I see the distraction, but I don't glom on to it and try to do something because of that thing that I think I have to have. Not in the same way. It's not the same. We're also going to be talking about your left and right mind, your mental experience of the mental construct perspective. What does it mean to have a mind that's right versus a mind that's left? How can we support and nurture your correct alignment to taking in information in alignment with your uniqueness to stop, try to stop trying to strategize if you're a right person to stop Stop trying to take everything in if you're a left person. Stop getting distracted. Okay. The last of the transformations, the fourth transformation is the conception or a kind of rebirthing. In rave psychology, this is your motivation, and this is what awakens you to the passenger consciousness or the witness consciousness, you being you, you being you for you, generator. Recognition of these four transformations, these beautiful gifts that we have on this deeper layer of the human design journey. You might be ready for it. If you're not, don't worry. Don't pressure yourself. Don't hurry. Don't force. Don't push. Biggest thing I can tell you, don't rush. I did. And I can tell you from experience, bad move. But I learned from the mistakes and I teach from the mistakes. I'm a third line teacher. Okay. So my process was I couldn't wait. I wrote as many different analysts as I could find. My husband and I were so poor. We were living in a motel, un, 
unemployed because we had just quit our seasonal jobs because we had learned you're not designed to work. So we quit and we lived in a motel, didn't know what to do, waiting for the invitation, studied our asses off, studied all we could find and found a teacher or an analyst who agreed to give us a foundation analyst analysis together. So we had an hour and a half with this teacher. We're both emotional split definition projectors. We got the generalities and then she gave us primary health system. And I took it and ran with it. I made myself so sick. I don't want that for any of you. There's so many different myths with regards to how this all works. In some cases, it can be very simple. In others, it can be way more complex. And when you move forward with a small group of individuals, we're going to be working with your charts. Again, remember, you need to have at least a year at least an overview and living your design or a foundation analysis and being experimenting with this for at least a year and be experiencing the benefits of using SNA as your decision-making tool. So when you come to me to ask for advice and guidance, I will always show you what's in the chart, explain my reasoning, and then give it back up to your own authority because I am not here to tell you what to do. I am here to facilitate your success in this human design experiment. This one is all types, okay? So we have two generators right now. It's going to be 10, not half hour sessions, one hour sessions, okay? Because it's a smaller group, only five people. Because we haven't started yet, I will honor an early bird pricing if you need it. Office at humandesignlifecoaching.com. Please email if you are going through some kind of hardship. Okay. I know that the pricing is a lot to pay all at once. We do have payment plans available. And this one is actually beginning today. If we have enough people signed up, you can continue not next week, the following week. Okay, so I need at least four, four people, maximum of five. Okay, maximum of five people. So if you are not experimented or experienced in human design, you probably don't know where these things are. In one of the most common questions I get, what is base? What is tone? What is color? We're just going to talk about it very simply and plainly. Base is in the square, color is in the stop sign, tone is in the triangle. These are very real things that you can experiment with. The nodes also have color, base, tone. Down here, we have aspects that I'm going to pull into with regards to their relationship to what you be, okay? This is the what, what you are what your life's work is, and this is the where, where you be, to make it very, very simple, okay? Your internal reality, the what, versus your external reality, the where. So to understand that where you are is a huge key to what you be with regards to what you be being completely dependent on where you be. Now, to put it more plainly and simply, if you were a dolphin and we pulled you out of the ocean and put you on land, what would you be? Dead, that's what you'd be. So we literally cannot live without our environment and our seeing. It's the stage upon which our life is set, the frequency that we carry around with us, what we're designed to be attuned to in the environment, as ourselves, always as ourselves, our life's work, 70% of who we are, interfacing with us as ourselves, dependent upon, here's an example you can see with my design, dependent upon others for the being and the seeing where we be, how we see, to operate correct Lee. It's not the case with everybody. So I'm just giving you an example of why it is so 
specific, this coaching, this process. It is not a reading. We cannot do readings unless, uh, well, Ra recommended. We can, of course, you are your own authority. And there are many teachers out there, uh, analysts, who will give you readings. If that's what you need, go for it. I'm not for you. I need time, require time with my students to collaborate, to coalesce, crystallize this knowledge into your practical reality to experiment with. Okay. And if you're brand, brand new, would like to invite you to watch the monkey mind video. That video is somewhere on our human design life or human design dot live before you get into this area of the course. So if you need that, let me know. Okay. Yes, Jean signed up and she needs to make sure of her exact birth time. So Jean, if you can go to the one-on-one session right here under uh, segment two, one-on-one session, and we'll get you in and work with you before our next session. Okay. So that would be perfect because our next session, what we're going to talk about is your own authority. We're going to discover your own inner shaman. And we're going to talk about the first steps of the experiment. So basically these 10 sessions together, I'm going to step you through all these different experiments for you to play with and then come back the next week. Tell me what you learned. If you had any problems, new symptoms come up, new issues, new awarenesses, this is where we're going to discuss and celebrate. Okay. And I see some questions, so I'll go ahead and answer those. Okay, so the place to sign up, and again, this is only for people who are experienced. We're not taking newcomers in these classes. So it's one private session. You'll also get membership to our private learning portal. Where is it? Here. Okay, in our course, you can see that there's a lot of materials. I haven't revealed everything. If you're already in the course, there's a lot of materials, okay, for self-study. But for you and me, when we come together, we're just talking about your charts. A lot of this is um, inspirational pieces, educational, just for your personal benefit. The videos in my courses are not downloadable. I've had too many people share them. I don't feel comfortable having my teachings just out there for everybody to rip off and put on Dropbox and stuff like that, as I see with Ra's work. So you cannot download my teaching. You can download your Zoom links. So every time we meet, we're going to meet in Zoom just like we are now, except you're going to be able to come on camera because it won't be a webinar. It will be a meeting. And then you have the opportunity to come in, talk with us about what came up for you. And I have as we go through the steps, we're going in alignment with what Ra recommended. We're going to go through the steps, but I'm spreading them out over time so that you can experiment with what I say for you specifically to experiment with. And we're going to discuss, come up with any questions until the following two weeks. So in the activity feed, if you want to, you can share what's on your mind. You want to post a video, if you want to post a blog, if something came up that you want to celebrate, that's totally fine. If you want a bigger group, of course, the main network, you can talk to the main network about what you're experimenting with as well. But if you want to keep it private just between you and me and your fellow students, this is the activity feed. Okay. In the table of contents, though, that's where we have all of the materials for us to go through. I have it in a recommended order. You do not have to go through it in a recommended order. You do you. So if you respond to watching something else before you watch this thing, so be it. Because this is not a training course. This is an experience. Okay? An experience. So. Oh, the handouts. I'll go and show you the handouts. So real briefly, um, this is the more detailed presentation that you're going to get right at the start of our coursework. A lot of this material you can find freely on the internet with some digging into Facebook groups, which are not reliable places, sources of information, because there are so many uh, people out there taking the information and making up their own thing with it. Now, Facebook groups can be beautiful for watching other people's processes, but not for asking for advice specific to your chart, unless the person that is giving you the advice has had the training. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Reggie Ann. So glad that that's helpful. 
Okay. So that's also there. Each week, we'll have very short presentations that I'll also give you as a handout for you to reference. So specific, more specific to you, I might add in a couple little images, there might be some inspirational um, recordings, especially if I've done something and I really like the way it came out. That's one of the reasons why you'll see in these places, um, I've now started putting little videos that are maybe inspirational for me or from raw, some resources that are very important to understand from not only me, but of course the horse's mouth from raw, because it's really important to make sure that you're aligned with the original source material. Okay. So I see no further questions. I'm going to say thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to learn about what I have to offer. And I'm glad to have seen you here. Thank you so much. Take care, my friends. And bye for now. You're welcome. Office at Human Design Life Coaching if you have further questions or if you need a payment plan, if you need some support around affording the classes. We're here for you. Namaste.